So from our election here, let's find the winner using the plurality method. The plurality method is probably what you're most familiar with. It is the idea that we're only going to look at people's first choice. We're going to ignore everything else. Uh, and we're going to look at which choice or which candidate uh, got the highest number of first choice votes. Now, th this is a slightly different than majority rules because majority implies 50%. Uh, more than 50% is a majority. When we have more than two options, it's quite common that none of the choices get 50% uh, of the votes. So notice here that A uh, got four first choice votes, one here and three here. Uh, or l O here got three uh, first choice votes and Hawaii got three first choice votes. And so the winner under plurality method is A. Notice that this is, however, um, oops, it's four votes out of ten is forty percent. So this is not a majority. This is what's called a plurality and hence the plurality method. Now, the plurality method is, you know, fairly well known and very easy to do. So, so what's the issue with it? So, let's talk about Condorcet winners. Uh, so Condorcet was, uh, looked at voting and, and we're gonna look at, uh, preferences if there was only two choices. So let's compare A versus, uh, a versus O. So if it was A versus O, these people would prefer A. These people would prefer A. These people would prefer O. These people would prefer A. Now remember, we're ignoring H as an option. So A would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people liking A, whereas O only has three people preferring it over the other option. Now again, we're looking at a one, uh, a one-on-one -on -one comparison here. So in this, uh, in this comparison, A would be the preferred choice. If we look at A versus H, then let's see, A is preferred, A is preferred, H is preferred, H is preferred. So four people prefer A, and six people prefer H, and so H would be the preferred choice there. How about O versus H? Uh, so if we look at O versus H, uh, O is preferred here, H is preferred here, O and H. Uh, so we have one, two, three, sorry, one and three is four people preferring O, and six people preferring H, so H is preferred. So notice something really interesting here. H is preferred by the majority. Uh, so H is preferred by the majority. I suppose I should spell that right. Preferred by the majority over uh, A. and is preferred over O, if, if those were the only options. And yet, our winner under plurality method is A. So the, th so in this case, because H is preferred over all other candidates, we call H, we call H the Condorcet winner or the Condorcet candidate. Uh, and in this case, plurality method did not choose, uh, the Condorcet winner. Now, not every election has one, but this one does. And so this is what we call a violation of a fairness criteria. Uh, and this is called the Condorcet criteria. Uh, it says that if there's a Condorcet winner, they should win. Or more appropriately, it would be fair if they win, and uh, plurality is not doing that, so that suggests that plurality is not a particularly fair method for voting.